All right, welcome. Today we're going to show you how to download mods and install them into American Truck Simulator. This also works for Euro Truck Simulator, but today I'm only going to be working with American Truck Simulator. Today we're going to just download something off of modsats.com, as you can see up here, and you can select trucks, trailers, maps, map objects, all whatever you really want to download and mod into the game. But we're just going to do trucks as I've selected here. And you scroll down and find the truck that you want to download. Which I'm going to download the old Ford uh, LTL. And you just click on the vehicle that you want to download. And then it shows you a picture, talks a little bit about it. And then you just want to click on the download link. And then this is going to be an RAR file. And... You want to scroll down to where it says free download click on free download and then you'll go to download oops download file and then you can either collect open or save file and i'm just going to hit save file and we're just going to wait on that to download and we'll speed things up once it's downloaded all right once it's downloaded you'll see if you're using firefox which i am you'll see it up here if you're using chrome it'll be down here normally in the left corner of the screen but what i'll do then is i'll go to documents and then go to my downloads and then I right click on it and i use 7-zip 7-zip will basically unzip the file uh, whether it be an rar or a zip file and um, i'll have the link in the description where you can download that i just download the 64 bit times 64 it's a free download and then like i said um, once you're in here you just right click on it you click the 7 zip and you hit extract files and then you'll select where to extract it to which you can the best thing to do is probably just to extract it to your desktop i extracted it to the wrong place and mine is already in the um, place where you want to put it so once you extract it and made a little folder which i'll have to move this around but once it's extracted you'll get the scs file which is what you need and i'm just gonna cut this and i'm gonna move it back here into the mod folder which normally your mod folder for the game is just going to be under documents you go to american truck simulator here's your truck simulator same thing there and then you'll go to your mod folder if you don't have a mod folder you just want to right click and create a mod folder once you're in the mod folder then you just basically paste it in there and there you can see it the ltl scs file i'm going to delete this folder and then give me a moment here to get logged into the game and i'll show you how to put it in the game and then i'll show you how to access it once you're in the game once you're in the game you just want to go to your mod manager and i have a bunch of mods installed here as you can see here the ltl come up and you can double click on it or you can just highlight it and click the arrow to move it over i normally just double click on it it'll turn green and then rule of thumb that i was always taught is kind of want your trucks down the bottom so i always throw them down to the bottom any of your things with your maps and things like that you want to have those up top because they're always loaded in you just want to hit confirm changes and then once we go into the game here i'll show you where you to access your mods all right and once you're on your main screen here you can just go over here to truck dealers once that comes up you can hit access mod dealer and these are all the mods that i already have done of course here you can see the ford and then here it is the ltl 9000 flat top you just click on that and then you want to go to customize configuration and this is where you can make all your changes to the truck as far as paint click on the accessories and this here is where you can add all kinds of accessories but that's pretty much all you have to do and then uh once you do all that, then you'll just come back here to the screen and then you'll say purchase. But right now it's 150000 Once you add all your accessories, it's probably going to cost more. But that's all you have to do. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. We'll catch you in the next one.